Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm gonna teach you the power shot. So the first thing I want to talk about is this, uh, is the angle. So if the ball is right here, uh, the goal is over there, don't stand in a straight line behind the ball and facing the goal, always make sure you got a little bit of an angle. So um, this is the best position for the power shot and what we want is a straight shot. We don't want to curve it, just a straight shot with a lot of, lot of power. So this is the best angle. If you're going to stand over there, here, it's better to curve it, but that's not what we want. Just a straight shot, and like I said, the best thing is to stand over here. So number two, now we're going to take a look at how many steps you're going to take. So I'm right footed, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, place my left foot uh, beneath the ball and take six big steps back. And why do I take six steps? That's because you want some distance between you and the ball. Um, you really want to shoot with power. So it's important um, that you can generate some speed. You really want to sprint uh, towards the ball as fast as you can. So you can really generate that speed and power. Um, if I take um, like two or three steps, it's way too hard to shoot with real power. When you take more steps, uh, it can be harder to sh shoot with accuracy. So I do uh, six steps. For you it's important to figure out what feels best for you. Maybe for you it's better to uh, do five ste steps or seven steps, eight steps. Um, but I think it's important just to go out and practice a lot and do what feels best for you. So the next thing is the run-up. Um, at first I want you to say when you're uh, standing over here you want to take a shot, just uh, focus, focus on the spot you want to hit on the goal and focus on the ball. Don't try to think too much, it makes it a, a lot harder. Just focus on what you're going to do and focus on the, uh, on the spot on the goal. And the next thing of course is the actual run up. So what you're going to do is you sprint as fast as possible to the ball and when you're near the ball and you're going to shoot don't shoot with only your foot or your leg, but you're going to shoot with your whole body. And that's because you can generate a lot more power than when you only, only use your leg. So what you're going to do when you're close, um, so you're sprinting, you're close. Right here I always do a little bit of this. I move my body, my upper body, my chest a little bit to the right. And I keep my arm, my left arm right here. And when I'm going to shoot, I'm going to open up. So when you do this, like I said, it's way more easy to take a shot with a lot of power. So where exactly do you want to touch the ball with your foot? And that is over here. And why it's over here? That is uh, underneath this part, it's the bone of your foot. And that's the hardest part. So with the hardest part, it's the easiest, easiest way to generate a lot of power. So where exactly do you want to hit the football? So we want a shot with a straight line with a lot of power. So you really want to hit it in the middle. And for the height it's important to, important to know if you hit it real low it's going up. And the higher you touch it uh, the lower it stays. If you hit it above the middle um, you're pushing it into the ground so never do that. And um, yeah besides of that it's a lot of practice. Um, when I'm here on the edge of the box and I want to hit the top corner um, I need to touch it right, right here in the middle and on this height but it's different when you're further away from the goal so it's a lot of practice and after a while you get a little bit of feeling like oh when I, I want to hit the top corner I need to hit it right here or right here so that's just a little, lot of practice So the next thing is a swing through. 
So when you're over here and you're going to take the shot, going to sprint, and when you take the shot, you really want to swing through in the direction uh, you want to hit the target. And the second important thing is you really want to lock your foot. If your foot is like this, it's really, too, it's really hard to take a shot with a lot of power. When you keep it like this and swing through, you can generate really a lot of power and make sure your swing through is like this and not like this. So really make the swing through and like I said, lock your uh, foot, make sure it's in the right direction and you're really, really gonna shoot with a lot of power. Uh, and I'm gonna give you an example. And a few things I want you to say are these. Um, the most important thing uh, with a power shot is the technique. It's like 70% and it's only like 30% the power you put into the shot. So you can be as strong as you want, but if you don't use the right technique, it's, it ain't gonna work. So really focus on the technique, practice it a lot, and then in the end, you can do a real power shot. And a few important other things are, um, really make sure you sprint to the ball as fast as you can. You really want to generate a lot of speed, a lot of power before you're gonna take the shot. And when you really take the shot, like I said, focus on the technique, don't force it. Lock your foot, your ankle, hit it in the middle and swing through. And I know, like I said, if you practice this a lot, you're really going to take a real power shot. And for now, I'm going to give you a few examples of my own power shots. And this is already the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. And I see you in the next video.